On this video, I want to share with you seven plugins that will make your Obsidian incredibly powerful and beautiful. Obsidian is a Markdown-based note-taking app on steroids. It has a bunch of super awesome features that we already talked about on this channel. If you don't know what Obsidian is and you want to start building a second brain, please take a look at this video that introduces Obsidian, its features and why it is awesome. If you wanted to, you could use Obsidian without plugins. It is already very powerful. But combined with the plugins we are about to see, Obsidian becomes a beast of an app. Make sure you can install plugins in your Obsidian by going to Settings, Community Plugins, and clicking the button Turn on Community Plugins. Then, to install a plugin, click on Browse, write the name of the plugin, click on it when you find it, and click Install, and then Enable. As for the order of this video, we are going to go from the simplest plugins that take almost no configuration to the most powerful ones, but that are more complex and take more time to learn. The first plugin has nothing to do with productivity, it's about appearance. It just makes your Obsidian look better. I Iconize is a plugin that allows you to set icons for all the files on your Obsidian Vault. After you install it, go to the plugin settings and choose the icon pack you want to use. Then you can go to your file explorer, right click on any file and click on change icon to choose the icon you want to use. On the topic of appearance, let's do a quick pause and talk about themes, because they can make your Obsidian look amazing. To use themes, open your settings, click on appearance, then click the manage button in the themes row and install any theme you like by clicking on it and then clicking install and use. I personally use the things Theme. I find it beautiful, minimalistic, and very relaxing. There are many themes, so take your time finding the one you like the most. If you're looking for something to really make your obsidian look cool and unique, there are some really trippy themes you can try. Cyber Glow makes obsidian look like a terminal of a spaceship. Shiba Inu makes it look very kawaii and is full of pastel colors. And Ono Sendai makes it look like a retro programmer terminal. Back to talking about plugins. If you are going to build a second brain using obsidian, you need a real reliable backup strategy. You can pay for Obsidian Sync to backup your files to Obsidian's servers, which is also good because you can also browse your files from your phone or other devices. Or you can use Obsidian Git, which is a plugin I recommend if you are a developer and you know what Git is. If you have Git configured and installed, all you have to do is install the plugin and give it a repository where you want to push your files to. This plugin will keep track of changes to any file on Obsidian and will push to a remote Git repository on GitHub or GitLab every X amount of minutes which you can configure. When you write long documents in Obsidian and you close them, the next time you open them, the scroll always starts from the top. In my case, since I have long lists, I have to always scroll all the way down, which can get annoying. Remember Cursor Position is a tiny plugin that remembers the scroll position of your files. And when you open them again, it will put the scroll where you left it. It is a small thing, but it will save you time and it allows you to open a file and get started writing immediately. If you are a developer and you are taking notes and studying in Obsidian, you will will at some point have to write code down. Obsidian already supports syntax highlighting, which is very cool. To make code blocks even better, you can install the Execute Code plugin. This plugin adds a run button to your code blocks that will run the code and show you the output when you are on reading view. To see the run button when you are on editing view, add the run dash prefix to the name of the language. Before you can use the plugin, you need to configure it. You need to go to the settings of the plugin and you need to add the path of each of the programming languages you want to use. I use this execute code plugin a lot when I'm studying to make sure that what I'm writing down is correct and to quickly see the output a code has if I am reviewing a file I wrote a long time ago. Excalidraw is a whiteboard tool that gives you a whiteboard where you can sketch diagrams and wireframes. It is open source and you can use it on the browser at excalidraw.com. Thankfully, there is an Excalidraw plugin that brings it right into your Obsidian called Excalidraw, of course. After enabling it, all we have to do is open the command palette and select create a drawing or we can use the Excalidraw icon on the side menu. The advantage of having Excalidraw on Obsidian is that you can add Obsidian files to your canvas as an embedding or an image. And you can also embed your Excalidraw drawings into the notes you take. Excalidraw on its own is fairly complex and we would probably need another video for it. But just know that it also has themes and its own plugin system as well. Projects is one of my favorite plugins. This and the next plugin give Obsidian all the superpowers it needs for project management. After enabling it, we first have to add some properties to our nodes. All we have to do is go to each node and write dash 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 
right at the start of it. That will make Obsidian create a properties section where we can add properties with different types like text, yes, no boxes, dates, and more. In our case, inside of a folder called Project X, we have a bunch of nodes that contain either features we want to implement for our projects or bugs that we need to fix. So we will edit each node and add properties such as due, kind, status, and urgent. Due will be a date, kind and status will be strings, and urgent will be a yes, no box. After we're done doing that, we can click the open projects button on the sidebar or we can use the command palette. There we're going to create a new project and we're going to choose the project X folder as the source for the project. And as you can see, we immediately get a nice table view of the project with the completed view kind, status, and urgent properties that we can modify from inside the table. We can also create a new view for our project. We can select the board view, which will group the nodes according to their status. After we create the view, we have to specify what is the status property, and just by doing that, the boards will be created and we will be able to move our nodes between them. We can also create a calendar view, where we will specify what is the property that contains a date, which in our case is the view property. And we will get a nice calendar view of our nodes where we will be able to click the nodes and edit their properties from inside the calendar. As you can see, the project's plugin combined with node properties make Obsidian incredibly powerful. Another plugin that makes use of node properties and takes Obsidian to the next level is DataView. DataView allows you to use Obsidian as if it was a database. All you have to do is add properties to your nodes. And then you can use the DataView query language, which is fairly similar to SQL, to query your data. On this books folder, I have notes with information about the books that I read and that I want to read. All the notes have the same properties, author, year, by link, cover, rating, and read. Thanks to DataView, I can go to another file and using the QL, I can get author, the rating, and the by link of each book that I haven't read, and I can order them by their rating from high to low. And with a bit of extra magic, I can even display the cover of the book. DataView is really powerful. The plugin has a documentation website where you can find out all the things you can do with it. It has a bunch of operators to do filtering, transforming, sorting, grouping, and more. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what do you think about these plugins. Which one is your favorite and which one did I miss? Onjona kamsahago, sanon hamida. See you on the next one. Dami bye bye.